Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and as you can see from the title of this video, we're going to be reviewing some Louis Vuitton fragrances. Louis Vuitton is actually one of the most generous places when it comes down to fragrances. So if you ever do go in store and you make a purchase, if they don't offer you fragrance samples, you could always go ahead and ask for them. And when I tell you they're super generous, they're super generous, so you get a lot of them because I have a ton. Um, every time I go, I just re-up. So I've never bought their fragrance. There is one in all this time that I really liked, but I forgot the name of it, so. But yeah, I digress. Just saying that to say that if you make purchases from Louis Vuitton, ask for their samples, they're super generous, yeah. Also, I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna butcher the name of some of these fragrances, and they're unisex men. I don't, woman, I don't know. I'm gonna actually be going over this set for the first time, so we're gonna figure it out together. So the very first one that I'm gonna be sniffing is called Elementsisi. And this is a male fragrance. Again, I don't know if that's the correct pronunciation. So, let's see. I actually really like this one. It has like, it smells, as soon as I smell this, like, you know it's a male fragrance. It's kind of woody, in my opinion. And I do smell some citrus coming out. I don't know why, but it kind of gives me a hint of the Versace Delon Blue. The main accords are citrus aromatic, fresh, spicy, amber, warm, spicy, musk, fresh, herbal, and the top notes are grapefruit, ginger, bergamot, yeah, I definitely get a bergamot, um, water notes, sage, rosemary, geranium, and the base notes are ambroxan, amber, and labdanum. This is a really nice male fragrance, but to me, it's not like extraordinary or anything. But I would love to smell this on my boo. This is a this is a go, but it's not like a oh my god. It's nice though. It gives typical male fragrance, if that makes sense. The next one is called Ombre Nomad. And just based on how this one looks, I haven't looked up notes or anything for it yet, but just based on how this one looks, I don't know. I feel like it's gonna give me an oud vibe. Let's see. That that elementity one, the scent is just here. It's just still it's still lingering. I feel like this is gonna give you really, really good longevity. Yeah, it kind of has a old vibe and there is something to it. I don't know. I'm smelling something that's super strong and that may be a little bit off-putting for some people. Let me look up what the notes are. Let me see if I can identify what it is. So apparently this one is supposed to be a unisex fragrance. So the the, the second accord in it is oud. Like it's, it's just a really strong oud scent. Like so the main accords are amber, oud, warm, spicy, smoky, rose, rose. Um, fruity, leather, woody, balsamic, fresh, spicy. This is not gonna be one for everybody because oud is not for everybody. Oud is super strong. Really, really strong. I can see, I don't like it immediately. I feel like I'd prefer this on the dry down because it's so strong, like. <laughs> so for some reason it's not showing like the pyramid but the notes are Agar wood, that's oud, and incense, rose, raspberry, saffron, amber wood, birch, benzo, and geranium. This one is not gonna be one for everyone at all. If you don't like oud, stay away from this because this is giving a lot of oud. I don't have the oud fragrance sample from Mason Francis Curtijon, and I'm gonna compare it to this one to see how close they are and which one I prefer because that one I also don't like too much immediately but the dry down of it is it's nice it gets a lot more subtle and you know and that one is also unisex so i feel like i'm gonna experiment with both of them all right so the third one i have is called materi nore again i don't know if i'm pronouncing these correctly so if i'm not forgive me let me know what the correct pronunciation is um this one smells like a feminine fragrance. 
and whew, there's something, there's an undertone to it. Whew. This one, this one smells feminine, but I feel like unless, because I'm trying to smell if it's like the oud from the previous fragrance, but I'm smelling a little bit of oud. So again, I'm correct. So this one is actually a female fragrance. It's a uh, fruity floral rose, amber, woody, warm, spicy oud. There's no way oud can be in the fragrance and you don't smell it. But anyways, um, patchouli, balsamic, aquatic, and top notes are blackcurrant, blackcurrant syrup, watery notes. The middle notes are rose, cinnamon, narcissus, jasmine sambic and the base notes are agar wood wood and patchouli incense and benzoin you get a little bit of floral but the wood is very strong again if you're not a wood person stay away from this one the opening was very floral but as it's drying down i'm getting a lot more wood i don't personally mind it because the wood dry down is nice okay so the fourth one is atrape roides and because the liquid in this is slightly pink maybe it's gonna be a female fragrance let's see mm, this is beautiful oh my goodness this smells like a uh, floral with a little bit of fruit and i feel like it has um oh gosh it's not coming to me now the it has a has uh, um it has a note that's a little similar to the armani my way but this is gorgeous this is gorgeous mm. all right so the more i smell it the more like i feel like i'm getting like butterflies this is such a beautiful feminine fragrance I think I should do blind sniffing more often because like I've had these and I just they're just sitting there and I was like okay let me just try them out so far this is by far my favorite oh my goodness this smells really really good and don't get me wrong it's not super sweet because as it dries down that goes away a little bit but I don't mind super sweet floral that is not gourmand I don't like sweet gourmand <laughs> sweet floral so beautiful um all right so let me see what the notes and the accords for this fragrance are i'm super interested to see because i didn't look this up usually i look this up prior to but this time i didn't do it. i'm just winging it right now so prediction like i said female fragrance so again i'm correct it's a female fragrance uh, the main accords are fresh rose floral warm spicy fruity patchouli um tropical cacao woody citrus and the notes are the top notes are lychee ginger bergamot the middle notes are peony turkish rose cacao and the base note is patchouli it's such a gorgeous fragrance i think it's a two rose okay so what i thought i was smelling was a two rose but it's not two rose it's a turkish rose but it smells kind of similar this is nice like i need to do like weird tests on these and tell you what the longevity is like i can't tell you what the longevity is probably gonna be like right now but just from the way that they smell i don't doubt that these are gonna give you like the longevity on it is probably gonna be really good um yeah so we have two more to go so let's get into it number five is newit de Fouet. um all right, just based on the name, I'm gonna say this is probably a male fragrance. And yeah, it is probably gonna be a male fragrance also based on the color and the bottle. So this is Nuit de Fouet. Let's put it to the test. Yeah, this is male. It could be unisex because it's not very woody it smells like there's a little bit of oud in this one too i guess louis vuitton has a thing for oud yeah the more it dries down the more i smell the oud i think this could be a unisex one it's not a very strong muscular scent like it's not giving a lot of like woody 
think I feel like I smell a tobacco too. Hmm. Let's see. I like that. It's subtle. It's giving nice. Okay, so correct again. This is a unisex fragrance and the main accords are amber, smoky, oud, like I said, leather, warm, spicy, balsamic, fresh, spicy, and animaly. Oud is just not something that once it's in the fragrance, you could just tell, like it's such a strong, it, just, it has such a strong scent. I'm not seeing a pyramid, but it does show you the notes. So, so there's incense, agar wood, which is wood, and leather, olibanum, and musk. All right, so um, the sixth and final one is called Afternoon Swim. At least I know I called that correctly. I can't mess that up. This is what it looks like. And uh, just based on the bottle, I'm gonna say it's a male fragrance. Let's see if I'm correct or not. This smells unisex and it's very citrusy. There's no wood in this one. This is unisex. I think this is a great daytime fragrance and also really good for the spring. It's not overpowering at all. It's just nice and subtle it's giving i know who i am i ain't gotta make no announcements so i knew this was gonna be a very citrus fragrance so like i said it's uh, the main accords are citrus and for spicy the notes are mandarin silicon orange bergamot umbragus and ginger just this is all around just the citrus fragrance um and it's unisex the only thing that comes to mind when i think of this one is the dolce light blue but this one even though they're both super citrusy fragrances this one is a little bit more subtle it's not just citrusy it's just like citrusy if that makes sense but yeah that's that um just wanted to go over those with you and like i said when starting out your perfume journey you want to get as much samples as you can so that you can figure out your scent without it costing a lot because like you don't want to buy a big bottle, spend two, three hundred, four hundred, because like all these perfumes are like probably three, four, five, six hundred dollars. You don't want to spend that kind of money and then not like the fragrance. Whenever you make purchases at huge department stores or designer stores, just go ahead and ask your sales associate for some perfume samples. They usually have and they're usually very happy to give them to you. But yeah, that's it for this video and I'll see you in the next one. Later.